Okay, I'm going to make a simple tutorial on how to make a an easy graphic. Okay, so to start with, we go to the home page and select new frame. Then we come over here and select background photo. Okay, mine defaults directly to a, an image folder I have set up on my computer. So I'm going to go to background and I'm going to select a background to use. Let's use this one. Okay, there's our background. Okay, hope you can see this all right. Let me see. Let's adjust this just a little bit, a little bit more. Now, let me back up a little bit. Okay, that's better. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, we have our background. Now, we are going to make a frame. There are a couple of ways we can do it. We can start with the frame, or we can start with the drop-in picture. What that is, you can see here, when we click on that little drop, it shows us our drop-in choices, a square, a circle, or a soft circle. Or we can come here and select a frame first. Why don't we do that? Again, I have lots of PNG files saved on my computer. PNG files, pictures, picture files, are pictures that are transparent. They have no background to them. It's just the image itself that you want to use. So we're going to come here and we're going to go to frame round. We're going to do a round one. And let's look down until we find a frame that might look pretty good in our little blue background. And I'm going to select this one right here. So I select my frame. You see, here it is. Now, I'm going to size that frame to make it just the size I want. So I'm going to, as you can see, I'm moving it smaller and smaller. And then I click in the middle of it and move it into place. I want it right in the middle. So I'm going to do my best to get it in the middle. So there's our frame. Now we want to select the drop-in, the place where we can put a picture into the frame. So we come back over here to our drop. I'm going to select circle. And as you can see, wow, it comes in huge. So we have to size this down where it fits in the frame. Well, that doesn't look right. So what we have to do, I clicked off of it, is click on the frame itself. I'm gonna come up here, see where it says move selected to front. And we're gonna move it, the frame to the front. Voila, now our picture is in the frame, our picture spot is in the frame. Now, if I wanted to add something to, to this, I could. I could come back here to my image file, and let's say we want to put a flower. So I'm going to type in flower, and you can see I've got quite a few flower, flowers saved here. So we're just going to select one that might go with a blue background. Let's choose this blue hydrangea. Oh, it's huge. So we're going to make it small and it's going to go right back about where I want. Now you can see I'm turning it by keeping the 
arrow on the edge of the frame of the uh, flower itself, the, the, the little dotted frame, I'll call it. Then we'll go to the middle of it so I can move it, and we're going to move it up into place. Uh, this is the screen where I can edit this shape if I want to. I could come here and add a shadow. I could also, if I wanted to, change the shape of it a little bit. Maybe it doesn't look quite the right size, so I can squinch it up or I can stretch it out. So we're going to stretch it out just a little bit here. You can change the angle of it if you want to. Here, we can change the opacity. We can make it so it's barely there. Or we can go all the way back up to the top and make it fully there. And as far as you go, the more it disappears. Okay. Then we're going to save our changes, and we've got our flower in position. So now we're happy, and we want to put a picture in our frame of someone, a photograph. So we're going to click on the drop-in photograph they have given us. We're going to come up here to edit come down here to where it shows the drop-in, click on it, aha, and we can select a sample photo. Again, I have some generic pictures saved on my hard drive, so I'm going to type in model, that's what I named them, and we're going to choose someone to put inside our frame. I've got children, I've got adults, I've got anywhere and in between. So let's check, let's click on this little girl. What I've done is I go to places where you can uh, ask for free model images. That means that anyone can use them. Okay, we've selected a little girl. Oh, there she is. But this is what she's gonna look like in the frame. Well, that's, that's not what we want. So we can come down here and change the scale simply by sliding where it says scale. And we're going down, down, down. We want to be careful because see at the top and the bottom, now we're showing a blank area, which we don't want. So we got to go back up a little bit till that blank area is gone. Then if we want to see the circle in the middle, we click in it. and we can move her around a little bit. If we want her more like that, if we want her in the middle, more over to the side, wherever we want to put our picture in the frame. All right, we want to put her right there in the middle. So again, we're going to come down here to Save Changes. And there is our little girl in our frame. At this point, we're going to say we're done. We can change if we want to, if we want our frame bigger. We can stretch it out. But that also means we're going to have to stretch out our picture and make sure she's still in there like we want her by moving it around. We're finished. So we go here to save. Okay, and we want to put, I want to put this in a private file. I don't want to publish this, so I'm going to put it in a private file. This is just for, okay, you can see it's highlighted blue, so it's ready. Description is blue front. We're going to save, exit, and share. What we're going to do right now is we're going to click on done. Okay, now we can see here's what the public would see if we select, if we save this to a public file. 
and this is how it's going to work. They would come over here to add your photo. Then they would select a picture of someone that they want in that frame. Anybody they choose. Let's say they're going to put this, their grandmother in it. Ah, there's grandma, but she's way too big. So we're going to come up here and we're going to shrink her down. See, so we've got some blank spaces here on the edges that we don't want. So we're going to stretch her out a little bit. Stretch her out. That looks pretty good. Maybe we want to bring it down a little more to show more of grandma and not so much of... There we go. Now we've got... That's pretty good. Again, we're going to come over here to save. We've changed the picture. Come over here to save. Same private one. And we're going to call this one Grandma. And we're going to save it. Done. And there she is. That, and we're going to close this out because we're finished. That will show you the basics of how to load, I mean, how to, I'm sorry, how to make a basic Kimmy frame graphic. Thank you.